I'm an early childhood educator and I run a home program in Thetford. Um, 19 years ago, I opened my in-home early childhood education program. I had no formal training and my vision of what an in-home program should look like was very different from what my program looks like today. Professional development and the needs of the children and families in my care not only changed my views on what a home program should look like, it also spurred me to become an advocate for children, families, and providers. I'm part of the Let's Grow Kids Action Network and have been a part of Vermont's Association for the Education of Young Children's Power to the Profession Task Force since its inception three years ago. I became an advocate for children because I have encountered many families who have found paying program fees a hardship. Like most home providers, my rates are as low as they possibly can be, yet my own daughter could not afford to pay me. To make ends meet, she sold her home and moved into a much smaller home, and still she could not afford to pay me. At my encouragement, she applied for childcare financial assistance and was denied. I could not believe that a single mom of two living in a very small home was told she made too much. The story does not end with her financial struggles. Because of her inability to pay me, she put my program at risk. When it was apparent that we just didn't have enough income to pay our bills, my husband got a second job and worked 60 hours per week to help make ends meet. Her children were in my program for the first five years of their lives, and I did not receive even a quarter of the income of the program fees I was due during that time. For several years, I made do without a third of my income, and when another family could not pay, it became even more of a hardship. I often ask myself what would have happened to her children if I had not been a provider and a grandmother to them. Unfortunately, her story is not unique. Even my story is not unique. I have seen this happen repeatedly. All children and families deserve access to high quality, affordable childcare, and all providers need to be paid for the services they provide in a reliable and timely fashion. Therefore, I have chosen to become an advocate for children, families, and providers. Our voices need to be heard and we need you to act. Please support this effort to provide high quality, affordable early childhood education services to our children and families and support a system that invests in the early childhood education workforce to ensure that those services will be available to all children.